Artemis is an Eastern Screech Owl. This is her full size. Uh, Eastern Screech Owls max out at just these, this tiny size. They are actually quite common in this, in this area. They are uh, not an endangered species, so that's good. This Eastern Screech Owl is able to thrive even in urban areas, so you might, you're more likely to see this species than the other larger ones. Eastern Screech Owls are carnivores, and so in the wild they would be eating anything small, particularly rodents. Uh, here we feed her three mice a day. This is a nocturnal animal, so in their eyes are meant for the night. Their eyes are meant for dark, and even this is a little bit bright for her. But even that, uh, she will blink one eye at a time because she wants to always have one eye open. Even though she is a predator, meaning she will eat other animals, she is also a prey animal, so other animals would hunt this uh, small species of owl. So she has to always be aware of her surroundings. A lot of people think owls can turn their heads all the way around, but it's not true. They can do it about 270, and the reason that they have to do that is because their eyeballs are so big in their skull that they don't have muscles to move their eyeballs. So I can look up or down or left or right. An owl can't do that because there's no room for muscles. So they have to do something else instead. They have to actually turn their whole head around, and that is because they have extra bones in their neck, so that allows them to do that. So that's a pretty cool adaptation for this bird. An owl you will not hear fly. They have silent flight, and it has to do with the anatomy of their feathers. Um, it's If you imagine what a comb looks like, it's kind of like that. The edge of her feathers just swoop right through the air and don't make a sound, so they're able to sneak up on their prey and uh, fly silently, which is a very good adaptation, especially if you're trying to sneak up on your prey. Nobody is allowed to keep an owl as a pet, so the reason we have Artemis here is actually she's a rescue. When, when Artemis was a baby owl, which is called an owlet, she lived in a tree with parents, and parents would come and bring her food. Uh, one day that tree was cut down, unfortunately, so because the owls could not fly, they were left there on the ground, and adult owls are not able to pick up and carry their babies. So Artemis and her siblings were brought to a wildlife hospital. A veterinarian cared for them, um, but because of how young she was, uh, she imprinted on people rather than owls because she was raised by people rather than owls. So for that reason, she is an educational animal and she's a wonderful ambassador. Mm -hmm.